Welcome to Hot Lagoon. Oh, we're on backwards. In this episode, we show you one of Western Australia's most loved pink lakes, Hut Lagoon. We show you how incredible the snorkeling is at the Lucky Bay Campground, and Chris shows you how we cook up a mean lamb spit roast. Good morning. It's an early start for us. The alarm went off at 5.15 a.m., so we're up getting ready because we're trying to get to uh, Hut Lagoon, the pink lake. Uh, that's about half an hour down the road for sunrise but something that we forgot about was the fact that we'd lowered the tires yesterday to 25 psi so we could have a little play in the sand dunes so chris is outside pumping them up and hopefully he'll get them done in time so we get there before the sun comes up let's see if i found a reason why i am closer to Welcome to Hut Lagoon and good morning and it is too early but anyway. <laughs> oh, sun's coming up. It's not too early. Miriam's got all the stats on this thing by the way, she does all her little research things. So what have we got I've here? I've done research and I've actually <laughs> screenshot it and it's on my phone so I do have to read it. But we are at Hut Lagoon. It is one of Western Australia's most loved pink lakes that's got so many more colours than just pink. Mm. Uh, we're going to show you that in a minute. The sun is rising over the water right now. Um, a few stats about this lake. It is 70 square kilometres with most of the lagoon lying a few metres below sea level. It is pink because, do you know why it's pink? Mm, salt. It has a carotenoid producing algae in it, uh, which is a source of beta carotene, which is a food colouring agent, and a source of vitamin A. Well, that's what I thought. I just didn't want to... Um act like I knew it all. Okay but. and one of the most interesting stats about this lake is that it was used for Lancome's Life is Beautiful campaign and Maya's Jennifer Hawkins summer collection. <laughs> well there you go. We've seen it online before but this is our first time seeing it in person. Sure mm. you guys have seen it online before as well but we're going to show you our perspective and our take on this insanely massive huge pink orange and whatever other color lake <laughs> it is. I'm going to flip the drone up. Are you ready for it? All right here we go. before we go it is separated from the Indian Ocean by a beach barrier ridge and a dune barrier system and uh, it is marine fed through springs so that's it for us for now better get going see ya so we've arrived back at camp and the Holliers have decided that they're going to go down and check out the lagoon um, and we have now decided we're going to do the same because I think the wind is supposed to pick up after lunch which is going to be pretty intense uh, and then the next few days possibly showers and cloudy so we've got to make the most of this a beautiful weather so Chris is now letting the tyres down that he just pumped up before we headed to um, Hot Lagoon and um, we're going to join the Holliers at the lagoon. Ready 
to hit the lagoon? We are ready to hit the lagoon while the weather's good. That's what we're going to do. There's um, about 40 or 50k winds coming this arvo at about two-ish. So we've got, it's 10 o'clock now, so we need to get onto the beach and get north a little bit and um, hopefully get some diving in. So let's go. I guess we'll see what the Hollies want to do, but my opinion is it's a little bit windy. It's still a really pretty colour, but it's really windy already. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go in. It's way too windy in the next like half hour to an hour, it's just going to... Pick up know, massively. Yeah, it's going to increase by another 20, 20 odd k's, so the visibility just don't, won't be good, I don't reckon. I reckon we leave it a few days, hey? What do you yeah, think? it's pretty choppy. Over the next two or three days, it's just fully calms off to mint. So. But I'm happy just to chill around here for a bit. What do you think? Yep, okay. Chris has his chairs out. He's eating his chips and I think we're going to go for a walk. Bye. Well, this isn't exactly how I thought our day was going to go when we came to the lagoon. But I'm not entirely disappointed. I have to be honest, I was not excited about getting in there since there has been a tiger shark swimming around in there recently. So I'm okay with hanging out on the shore, but I know it's inevitable. I'm going to have to get in at some point but for now I'm safe I'm not gonna die so I walked all the way down the other end oh I'm joined by a random pooch very very shallow down here lots of rocks truly spectacular absolutely stunning did you come to say hi they're really slippery rocks be careful uh, I'm decided I'm gonna go for a dive um, the wind is up Yes, it's a bit of a catch-22. The wind is up today, like really bad, but over the next two to three days, it's really cloudy. So I just don't know. It's the good old, you know, if you wait around, you could miss the opportunity in total. So yeah, I think we're just gonna go. You gonna come as well? No, nah, I'm happy to watch. It's too windy for me. <laughs> that, I'm, I'm sticking to that excuse, but I'm happy to to keep guard from the shore. Alright, alright, well let's go back and get some gear on and get in there, hey, see what's okay. about. Well, it looks like I better take off my hat, take off my sunglasses, because guess what? I'm gonna get in. I'm not happy about the situation, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyway. Please, sir, may I have my wetsuit? You can, mate. So you're coming out now, are you? Mm, I'm gonna put my wetsuit on and see how I go. <laughs> no, you're coming out. Well, you have to come out, it's mint. And we just don't want to miss the opportunity. Yeah. If there are the clouds come over the next few days, and it'll just be nowhere near as good visibility. So, yeah. Just have to bite the bullet and do it, dude. Yeah, all right. Man. Um, babe? Yes, I just figured it out. Did you just figure it out? Yes. What did you figure out? Can you so tell me? My everyone? old wetsuit's on backwards. How did you put a wetsuit on backwards, mate? Awkwardly. Now I've got to take it off and do it all again. You do? What do you reckon I could just wear it backwards? No, you definitely can't wear it backwards. <laughs> what a goose. Oh, yeah. How you going there, mate? Talking myself into this, telling myself that I'm going to go out there, I'm not going to be scared, I'm not going to be thinking about sharks at all, and I'm just going to look for the crayfish that are apparently out here in abundance. Well, you know what the bonus is? Your wetsuit's going to be on the right way this time, eh? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too, mate. Oh, it's a bit of a struggle. I'm just going to sit here and watch you do it, hey? Oh, you might want to do it in a time lapse. Uh, it takes me a while to get this stuff happening. At least you got your socks on. These are Donna's socks. All Donna's right. dirty socks. <laughs> all, right. all right. Well, you're going to be long? Yes. <laughs> Ta-da! 
Well done, honey. Thank you. Each have a GoPro. Chris has got one, and I've got one with the floaty stick because you know if I freak out, who knows what might happen. I'm heading down to put my gear on first because it's probably going to take me a lot longer. Here we go. Rightio, let's see how deep we can get Miriam to go in, hey? Get her right to that wall, watch her panic. The procrastination is real! I did a, did a mask check, I got no leaks. Donna made me laugh when I put my mask on, so I snorted boogers into my mask. Look at you! <laughs> ah, this is good fun! Right. Apparently all the action's out there, but I feel like all the action's right there. <laughs> Alright. Here comes the Christopher looking professional. Under the water we go. Bye! Have you seen how far the tower is away? Yes. Way over there. I, I said I wasn't going to come out here and I did. Good. Surrounded by birds, not far, I'm okay. Again? Yeah. Try not to rip my wet on the oysters. Yeah. Rated it one to ten. Um, ten. Yeah. Although if we'd seen some bigger fish, it would have been cool. We're not real big fish, but we're real big. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. Happy that I did it. Well, we're back. Made it in one piece. No sharks were spotted. And now it's time to hose everything off. Yeah. Yeah. Clean it all. Clean it all down. Because she is a mess. Well, what a day of diving, mate. The day ended up turning out pretty damn good. The uh, the weather said 40-odd 40, 40 K winds, but it actually never eventuated, which is pretty cool, hey, Greg? It is. No wind. No wind. Oh, oh. you're going to be fully bokered out there, mate. We won't be able to see you. Oh, well, that's you're going to have, you're gonna have a fully blowed... Fo <laughs> oh, we got more visitors turning up. Look, over here. <laughs> anyway, we've worked up a hunger. It's been a big day of diving. So proud of Miriam. She's... um. She did a freaking good job. I'm proud of her. She's getting better and better 
and better at the diving and just having a bit more confidence in the water, which I'm pumped about because um, yeah, she loves it when she actually does it. So, but check this out for a meal. Yeah, we have got a banging roast lamb on the rotisserie. So again, like I showed you the other day, that little uh, Madcon. Um, and then we have a little rotisserie set up on there and it's just a little 12 volt motor there and it is cooking. We've got a ton of heat beads in there um, to generate the heat and this thing is gonna be good. What are you cooking over there, Greggles? I've got a couple of steaks, Ooh. some chicken thigh. Well, what do you got some... under here? You got some spuds, spuds mate, down mate. there, eh? Gotta have your spuds, right? Spuds. Oh, we got some visitors. How are you? I'll stick Not to bad. the beer. Oh, stick to the beer. <laughs> Uh, it's the first time I've done a roast in the rotisserie like that, so um, it's all a trial and error for, for us, but I don't know, we'll see how we go. It can't be that bad. If it all turns pear shape, then we've got the air fryer inside anyway to finish it off, but should be fine. The only thing I'm a little worried about is the heat beads are a little low uh, in the pit, but I don't know, we'll just we'll suss it out and I'll let you know how we go, hey? Righto, we are one hour into the roast and it is looking scrumptious. Mm -mm. Time to base this sucker with some oil, some rosemary, some garlic. This thing is going to be me. Oh, thanks for the brush too, Donna. You're welcome. Can't guarantee I'm going to give it back to you washed, mate, but... <laughs> you got more water than me, I want to wash it sparkly. <laughs> oh, oh cakes and pies, cakes and pies. Righty, we're at the hour and a half mark now, and the thing is looking mint. Uh, just put the thermometer in there, and it's at 58 degrees. I think we want it to get to about 68 for medium to well done. So, happy days. I think about another half hour, and we are good to go. All right, everyone, can be noisy now. Yay! Yay! <laughs> noisy Mary mongrels. Had a little lamb, little lamb. <laughs> feeding that stingray for years. Oh, really? like it's, so a, it's like yeah, they're So this is the vibe that's going yeah, on at the moment. Everybody gonna say Yay! hello? Hey! We're good to go here? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this thing? It's all about the effect. I'll bring it in, I'll wrap it in some alfoil. Well done, we Greg, thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Mate. Thank you, mate. assistant. I'll, I'll inv invoice you later. No worries, mate. <laughs> Senate accounts department, mate. I'm sure they're not going to pay it. <laughs> All right. Check this thing out. Woo! Ow, she's hot. Oh! Oh. You are in for a treat, I'll tell you what. And while you're doing that, I'm going to take you in here and show you what's going on in here. Hey, we have potatoes. Spots. Ooh. And I guess we will keep them warm. How long do we let this sit for, you think? 20 minutes? Well, 15 minutes? rests for 10 to 15 minutes. What's time now? It is. Seven o'clock. All right. Quarter past yeah. seven, we're on. All right, we're on like Donkey Kong. Absolutely. Right. Here we go, we're ready to carve. It's been sitting here for 20 minutes and it's ready to be eaten. Actually, on a, and on another note too, I've been drinking no alcohol. He's alcohol free now for what? Mm. Five days? Since we got back from Sydney. No, it's been a bit. Mm. No beer, gave all the beer away. I gave. I know, it's a bit. A bit crazy, but I gave away a carton and a half to some young guys that are travelling. Right? They're actually sitting outside right now. Yeah, that is how keen I am to give up, get up and piss for a bit. Right. It needs salt. How's that gravy looking? It's good, but it needs some magic. Oh, Herbamere, get onto that stuff. Magical ingredient. It's so good. Herbamere is the best. Yeah. What do we got going with it? Ooh, it's potatoes. Sweet potatoes. It's a pretty basic meal, actually. Yeah, we very basic. We haven't got anything Look else. We've just got lamb and... So they've been in the air fryer for a little bit. For Yonky Dongs. But this air fryer, the Philips XXL, has a keep warm function. Ooh, and they've been sounds keeping... Sounds like a friggin' info ad. Yeah. We do not work with Philips, but we probably should. <laughs> All right, the piece de resistance. Ooh. The gravy. So that is lamb juices, a little bit of arrowroot flour, a little bit of herbamere, Yum. and some red wine. And it is really, oh, yeah. really, really, 
Is it that good? Delicious. Dinner is a success. What are you thinking, hey? I'm thinking that this is yours, but I'm going to pick at it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to love and leave you guys. Uh, we're going to get up in the morning. We've got an exciting day tomorrow. We're going to explore Calvary itself. But till then, adios, amigos. Bye, amigos. Uh, verdict, how did I go? Absolutely delicious. And because it was 1.5 kilos of lamb, we have enough left over to take with us tomorrow. <laughs> so yes, good. Yes, look at that. It is tender. The flavour is delicious. Yeah. This is like one of the best roasts <clears throat> I think I've ever had. Thank you. Thank you. Rightio, we are on our way south back to Lucky Bay from Calvary. 